everybody. Today we're going to have a product review and that is this mandolin slicer. It is a three in one. Today you find me in my kitchen. We're going to use this and we'll see how well it works. Let's open it up out of the box. All right, first thing I want to show you is it does have its own cleaning tool, which really comes in handy because these can be difficult to clean. This is the cleaning brush. It does have the gloves, which is very important to wear the gloves. It's an extra step, but I tell you, you'll be glad you have. So this is the slicer, like this. And we're gonna go ahead and put it together. All right, so you have your attachment like this, and you can put your lemon in. I'm gonna do a lemon demonstrate. And then you're gonna take it and you're going to slide it across the mandolin. See how nice that cuts? Cuts absolutely amazing. In a minute and a half, we are going to take a look at my Zule cheese grater and, uh, well, everything grater here. I'm going to show you how to put it together and then I'm going to test it out to see how it grates my cheese. Initially, I got this so I can make potato chips at home, but I actually haven't done potato chips yet, but I did need to make some cheese rolls, so I'm going to grate some cheese in there. Uh, so let's put it together. First, that little plastic part over there is gonna pop right in and then you put the grater in there and then attach the handle to the back so it locks in. Now, you need to lock this onto the counter. If you don't, this is how you'll grate the cheese. The cheese will come in and it'll be popping all over the place. It'll be very difficult to grate it. So that little handle on the bottom, you're going to flip it to the side and then pop in the top over there to push in the cheese and it's going to be so easy to grate it right in there. I did a whole bunch in no time here. I sped up a minute and a half and I was able to add all the cheese in there and make my cheese rolls for a delicious meal. This has so many good things that you can do with it. You can have different uh, thickness of the cheese and you can uh, slice some stuff in there as needed and it's just going to work so well. To take it apart, there's a little button in the back. You just push and then pull everything apart so you can wash it out and clean it out. Cheese grater is awesome and essential in my home and I think it is in yours too. Hey guys, I wanted to go ahead and actually show you my Serengeti uh, boxer mug. Uh, this is a stainless steel mug. Um, I've had this one for about a year and a half, um, and it I probably use it, I would say, at least four days out of the week. Um, I do have other cups, uh, but I do use this one at least four days out of the week. I really love how the boxers that are on there um, are you know, super duper cute. It does remind me of a boxer that we had. Um, I am a... I'm a dog lover, more specifically uh, for boxers. So we have a boxer at home. Um, the lid itself is kind of difficult to pop off in order to clean, uh, but it does have kind of this rubber seal all the way around it to be able to uh, close your container to seal it off. This particular container actually keeps my coffee extremely warm, um, hot actually, for at least a good hour. Um, I don't have to really rush to try to drink my coffee because this is so insulated that it actually keeps my coffee warm enough for a long period of time. Um, now, I have dropped my container. As you can tell, there is a split right there. Um, and then, of course, it's beaten up on the bottom. But I also use this a lot, um, like I said, four, maybe even five times out of the, out of the week. So I just wanted to show that to you. Um, it does have an extremely wide base. As you can tell, my hand won't even go all the way around it. Um, and that's just because it's so wide. So if you are expecting that this will fit in your cup holder, pause. 
my alarm going off. Um, so if you're expecting this to go ahead and actually fit like in your center console, it will, uh, but it won't go in very deep. It's actually going to stay very shallow. So I love this cup. I love the colors. I love the boxers that are on it. Um, I just wish that it was a little bit thinner uh, or that it had kind of a, a, a thinner base so that it would fit in my cup holder a little bit better. But it hasn't prevented me from using it. I will tell you that. <coughs> 